Here's Jensen Franklin. Psalms 23 says, He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And I believe that we're approaching communion this Easter, unlike any other Easter, with a new appreciation and with a true understanding of the mysterious power of the Lord's table. Isn't it amazing that the first time that communion was served, it was not served in a church or in a cathedral. It was served in someone's home. Matthew 26 said that Jesus told a man, I want to use your house, the upper room of that house, to serve communion to my disciples. And the first time the meal was served, the bread and the wine, representing the body of Christ that would hang on the cross and the blood that he would shed, the first time that meal was served, it was not in a church, it was in a house. And here we are, quarantined with our families, just like the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 12, the Passover meal was served in the house. It was a family occasion. Jesus in the New Testament made communion a your house experience, a generational meal. Well, the children, the children need to eat this meal. And the Bible said when they ask, what does it mean? You are to teach them that this is a meal that heals that this is a meal that protects from destruction and plagues and death. This is a meal that cleanses any and all sin. This is a meal that heals offense and hurt and disagreements. This is the meal that heals. And I love the fact that when the world drinks, the world drinks to, to forget. One country artist had a song that said, Whiskey River, take my mind. Why? Because he was brokenhearted and he had so many bad memories he was trying to escape. But Jesus said, when you drink my cup, you drink to remember, not to forget. What do we remember? The cross, the blood, the suffering. He took our sin and he took our shame. This meal has the power to remember the backslider, to remember the, fa the families that have been dismembered by offense and disagreement. So many people don't speak to people that they love, but he said, examine yourself when you eat this meal because this is the meal that has a mysterious power to bring back together what has been dismembered. I can remember. And Jesus said, as often as you eat this, you do in remembrance of me. You see, the body is represented in the bread and the blood in the cup. And when you separate a body from blood, a body that doesn't have blood dies, it brings death. But he said, when you take this meal, you remember me. You cause me to have a life in your home, in your family, in your marriage. You remember what death dismembered. And as often as you do this, you do it in remembrance of me. I want to tell somebody that because of what Jesus did, you can have the power of restoration hit your life and family, and you can be remembered to God, back to God. You backslider, you who are running, you feel so far and you're afraid of what's happening. You can be remembered. You don't have to be dismembered. Jesus said, this day you'll be with me in paradise. That was a reference to the Garden of Eden where Adam and Eve were dismembered because of sin. But Jesus was saying, this meal will remember all the people who've been dismembered from the family of God. Come on home through this meal. Take the bread right there in your home. Jesus said, this bread represents my body. Take, eat, this do in remembrance of me until I come. And then he said, take this cup. It's the new covenant. And this do in remembrance of me, it can wash you. It is for the remission of sins. It can protect you. It will bless your household. It will cause the destroyer and the plague to pass over. Take, drink, this do in remembrance of me until I come. 
one of these days the trumpet is going to sound. And those who have died in the Lord, I have a father, I have a brother. Many of you have loved ones. People are grieving who have lost loved ones to, to the virus that is killing so many. But there's coming a day when the trumpet is going to sound and the bodies and the spirits of those who have trusted in Christ, they're separated, they're dismembered. But when the trumpet sounds, there's going to become a remembering and the grave, ain't no grave going to hold our bodies down. And the Bible said that the living members of the family will be reunited with those who have died in the Lord. And there's going to be a remembering in midair when the trumpet sounds, the dead in Christ shall rise and we who are alive and remain shall be called up to meet the Lord in the air. What a day that will be. And lastly, Jesus said, I will not eat this meal again until I eat it at the marriage supper of the Lamb and when you make it home to heaven. One of these days, all of us who have been separated from God, we're going to hear the call to go home. And when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. And he said, I won't eat this meal again until that which has been dismembered is fully remembered together in a land where there is no weeping, no sorrow. And you can have that promise of heaven today through the Lord's table. Give Him your life. Give Him your family right there in the sacredness of your home. Take this meal together and speak the blessing over your home. Father, I pray the healing, protection, power of God to cleanse the home Remember families, marriages, and homes that have been dismembered and destroyed by sin. Remember the backsliders and those who are coming on, calling on you. I thank you for it. There's power in the Lord's communion.